The purpose of life is to provide us with the means to become aware of and then intentionally grow into an inner nature that's identical to the force that set life in motion. And the supreme pleasure of revealing a single unlimited giving force behind all sensations and events on that journey, and eventually in you, is the meaning of life. The problem is that we're built to receive everything. It's all we can do, even when we think that we're giving. But this is only true physically. Because for us, bestowal can never be defined by our physical actions. Even an external act of giving is still something we receive and ultimately aim to benefit from. So the deciding factor isn't that we're bound to receive, but how we receive. The direction of the intention with which we do receive, for whom and for what, that determines both the scope of our awareness and the well-being of all the aspects of nature still waiting to be in our conscious care. Our intentions are purposely concealed from us by the ego, which is beyond tricky. Their correct use never comes to mind in this world, not even in our imagination. And the goal is not something that you can attain on your own, because you aren't and never have been on your own. The intended transformation is a collaboration, an emotional integration into the broader interconnected reality. And that's impossible to achieve through something that you or someone else invented. It has to be passed down, received and learned from those who have also received it and attained it. Genuine Kabbalah is the science of purpose. And its appearance in our lives is the milestone marking the start of the conscious stage of our evolution, the beginning of receiving what can only be called wisdom. It's a tangible offer of a hand up from the upper force with an accurate map and a method of how to invert our intention and learn to live in the next, much more caring stage of human development. Kabbalah is just a term a name for human comprehension of nature in its totality, which is the only compulsory course in the school of life. There is great beauty, depth, and precision in it. In other words, meaning. But studying it involves something very different than the study of other things. It's not the accumulation of knowledge, though there's plenty in it to be had. It's an attainment a direct grasp and appreciation connecting us to how everything in existence works, what motivates and brings pleasure, and how we can not only receive that delight, but be a source of it for others too. In this science, it's your transformation and the changes in your inner qualities that is the laboratory exposing nature's deepest secret treasures. Because all of nature opens to us when we become inwardly similar to it.